Arena Bridges of Spirits preview reaction. Oh, that's right, baby. Jerry, I've been waiting to see some gameplay for this. So come on back because we got to check this thing out. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, J Rock is here because gameplay for Tina Bridge of Spirits. Oh, this thing just dropped. J Rock ain't gonna waste no time. We gonna get right to this. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share on the Great Ones channel. Let's check out some Kena gameplay. of spirits you venture through the lands surrounding a village beset by calamity whatever happened in the past it has left some of the land corrupted and spirits of the people who lived there stranded with unfinished business as a spirit guide you're charged with tracking down those spirits and helping them but that also means battling them as twisted monsters and cleansing them of the pestilence infecting them okay we got a chance to play about an hour of Kena in which we ventured into the wild surrounding the village in search of one of the spirits called Taina. Moment to moment, the game feels like a mix Ooh. of a variety of action-adventure staples, like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in its fluid melee combat, and Uncharted or Tomb Raider in its occasional environmental puzzles and climbing portions. Those inspirations are used well, though, with fluid gameplay and fast-paced combat that's deceptively simple but can get deadly in a hurry. As you venture out in search of the spirits you're looking to help, You'll encounter enemies animated with the corruption. The ones we saw tended to be creatures made out of twisted chunks of wood. The bigger they are, the tougher they are. And while you can beat them down to defeat them, your main goal in a lot of fights is to locate red hearts corrupting the area and destroy those with Kana's spirit guide powers. In some situations, hearts will continue to spawn enemies, so locating them and getting rid of them is the only way to get yourself out of a battle. Two things set Kena apart from similar games, its cinematic presentation and the rot. The first is born of developer Ember Studios' background in animation before it started making video games, and you can really feel how much Kena has derived from animated films in both its cinematics and gameplay. But it's the rot that are really the star of the show. The These rot. little folks are spirits of decay, but not in a frightening, horrific way. Instead, they're more like the keepers of balance, recycling dead things to renew life. And as Kana's trailers have shown, they're exceedingly cute. You can find rot in the environment, hidden under rocks or tucked in corners. The more rot you find to join you, the more powerful they become. Kana's staff serves as a weapon, and she's able to use it to release pulses of energy that can clear the corruption in the world around her, but it also allows her to guide the rot around the world. So you'll use them to move objects and solve puzzles, to fix items, and even to fight enemies. In combat, the rot want to come to your aid, but they're small and not particularly strong, so you need to pump them up a bit to get them ready for a spat. You do that by hitting and defeating enemies to build up a courage meter. When it's full, the rot can perform an action. You could send them out oh. to attack an enemy okay. or interact with an object that can help you, like blue flowers scattered around battlefields that can restore your health. According to Ember Studios, rot attacks have different effects depending on the enemy. For some, they might do damage, while for others, they're a distraction that can help you take the pressure off or open them up for attack. Interesting. You can also turn the rot into a weapon you could fully control under the right circumstances. Find a large droplet of water, and the rot can use it to turn themselves into a sort of spirit amoeba, which you can guide around the battlefield. In this form, the oh. rot can wail on enemies, move objects, and attack hearts, making them vulnerable for you to destroy them. The rot are a huge part of the game, leveling up as you find more and more of them. As you defeat enemies and help to fix the world, you earn karma that allows you to unlock new abilities and actions, and the rot are a big part of that too. As we were playing, we unlocked an ability called Rot Hammer, where Kana channels the rot to swirl around her staff and then slams it into an enemy for a big, powerful hit. Karma upgrades these abilities even further, giving you more options to mix the rot in with your fighting style. But even out of combat, the rot are an essential part of Kana's journey. You might find objects blocking your way, and often you'll need to send the rot to clear the path. 
Throughout the forest surrounding the village, you'll find things like damaged shrines or knocked over statues. But with the rot's help, you can repair those things. Sound like he's saying the rock. Fixing them gives you more karma. So the rock. It's worth exploring the environment and leaving the main path so that you can find new things to interact with. The theme of restoration and repair runs throughout Kana. As we climbed up a mountain searching for Taro's relics to summon his spirit, we found places where the rot could move statues to solve puzzles or take on the amoeba form to water crops. Working together, they quickly become your friendly companions. When you jump and climb ledges, the rot will appear to watch you and cheer you on, and you could find and buy hats for them to wear to make them feel a little more distinct. Controlling the rot is surprisingly intuitive in most cases, even in the midst of combat. At times, it's like having a second character to control, but combat doesn't cease for Kana when you start moving the rot around the battlefield, so you have to divide your attention to keep yourself safe. Kana's a deft fighter, though. In addition to a fast, light attack and a stronger, charged-up heavy attack, she can also create a shield of energy around herself oh. and use that to parry incoming attacks. Later, you unlock a bow version of your staff that allows you to snipe at enemies and take out their weak points. We played through a couple big fights against tough mini-boss enemies, and despite the game's often bright presentation and the cuteness of the rot, Kana Bridge of Spirits didn't pull any punches. Enemies are fast and deadly, especially the big ones, and they require you to concentrate on smartly using your abilities and the rot, as well as timing your dodges and parries to stay alive. Interesting. It's not all combat, though. A lot of Kana is spent exploring its lush, beautiful world and interacting with its spirits and characters. Searching for Tano's relics provides you with insight into what happened to him through his memories and his relatives, serving up some tragic backstory to the situation. That also fills in the gaps of what happened to the village itself, and you're also piecing together Kana's personal history along the way. Those moments are often told in powerful cutscenes that draw from the animation background of the studio, creating cinematics that help make the whole game feel like you're traveling through an animated movie. While Kana draws from a lot of inspirations, the way it weaves its ideas together makes for an enthralling, deep-feeling adventure that seems like it'll satisfy both players who are interested in its story and world, and those who want a challenge in combat and exploration. Although, difficulty options will allow you to tweak the experience to your liking, so it won't overwhelm you. Kana, Bridge of Spirits, is set to release on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC through the Epic Game Store in August. Ground yourself. Feel the energy of the mountain. Hopefully it don't get delayed. Draw on its power. says this this game looks like uh, it's gonna have a sort of ratchet and clank feel to it uh, pretty laid-back um, you know pretty easy going type game with some combat sprinkled in uh, for good measure but um, definitely looking forward to this definitely will be playing this most definitely all right post your comments down below and let j-rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video no rhyme intended on that line if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And be sure to hit that bell so that you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what J-Rock is cooking.